I'm curious to know how you set goals and what that process is for you because you're so sturdy all the time. <laughs> I mean, for me, my goals definitely have changed like throughout my four years. I'm at UCLA and from season to season, but I feel like this year, like my goals are like not really that personal. It's like, I feel like this year, I really just wanna be a really good leader for the whole team and mm -hmm. just like helping like, even if it's like just the smallest, smallest like correction or something like in practice like just helping like each teammate individually um and just like trying to get them to like be at their best like i love gymnastics and i just want to like people to love it as much as i do too oh, <laughs> so that was such a cute answer you oh, really yes. are perfect <laughs> <laughs> okay well that that goes right into my next question about leadership i feel like it's so cool to watch you not only like be such an amazing gymnast and it's so cool to see like how you have stepped into that leadership role but what are your top three things um for you personally that you think makes a great team leader that maybe you've applied to over the years at ucla mm -hmm. for me i think the biggest thing like like my mm -hmm. leadership style is i'm like a lead by example it's mm -hmm. so, like i'm not like the most vocal person or anything in the gym but like I'm making sure that I'm doing everything I can to like be at my best and be at the best that like my team needs me to be. So mm -hmm, like, great. even if that's like not do necessarily like doing all the numbers in practice, is just like knowing that I'm doing whatever I can to help the team. The second I think is just be encouraging, but not necessarily like, like you can't be like a hundred percent like it can't be positive all the time. Like mm -hmm. there's gonna be times where it's like we don't like we don't have the best meet or we have a really hard practice, but just like being realistic but like having a plan to like move forward just being like 100 percent honest and real like with yourself i think yeah. like i feel like throughout my years at ucla i've just sort of really grown into like who i want to be and just being able to be like really comfortable in my own skin i feel like, mm -hmm. I feel like in order to be like a leader you have to be like honest with yourself and like have that self-love before you can like apply it to your team or whatever so true. authenticity i think is so important because you don't yeah. want to feel as a leader i feel that you don't want to feel forced or that yeah. you are mm -hmm. forcing to encourage people you know so you have to be yourself and authentic is key like i would say there's different types of leadership yeah, too sure. and so it's like you know you've realized you're not the vocal leader but you are the lead by example and kind of like giving them that positive affirmation after a tough day or kind of like you know being the realistic person yeah. but then there is that place for the other person who has that other like mm -hmm. leadership quality to also step in which is why i think like you guys' team is strong. But why don't you have team leaders? It was like a, like when Miss Val was coach, like it was a thing to like never have team leaders. It just like allows everyone to be open and to, to like, be feel um, willing to like share their voice and share what they yeah. have. Yeah, I mean we don't really necessarily have like assigned team captains or anything, but right. Um, I feel like it's cool to know that like everyone has their voice and has their opinion. Um, and is gonna contribute like in the same way to the team. Grace underscore E underscore Mueller says, have you ever had a really bad mental block on a skill? <laughs> She's think, like, yeah. I think if you've been to any of uh, Sam Pezek's Beam Queen boot camps, you've like heard my story, but <laughs> I had a terrible mental block on a back on back tumbling when I was young. So like, I think it started in level five when I had to learn back walkover. I like would not go for it. I would just like stand on the beam and I just would knock, I'd like stand there for like 10 minutes. And like <laughs> my coach would try to spot me and I like still wouldn't go. And then like I would, every time I like run, I do a round off on floor and I'd like just jump to my back. <laughs> oh and like God. I probably have been slightly concussed because I've done that so many times. <laughs> or I used to jump for a back handspring and like land on my tailbone on the beam. Oh my God, baby, I, I've I, done that, I've Like you done literally that just hard. bailed in the middle of the yeah, air? I had like I've really, and it happened it was for years. I'm like why didn't I just go? Like if I, even if I split the beam, it would have hurt less. Like, <laughs> Like, when I even started to lead, like, and even when you've seen me, like, yeah, I have, I have. at UCLA, like, so do my kids, we should go, no, but it's crazy because, like, I remember when you had a mental mm -hmm. block when you were a freshman, and it, it'll happen for about a week, <laughs> and then it won't happen again, but it's like, yeah. you have, you have this, like, like still one chunk, yeah. like, okay, Kyla just needs to not do the skill for a yeah. hot second. <laughs> It, but she'll be back. Don't worry. She she always comes back. But it used to be that every day in club, and I would like honestly like get a pit in my stomach before I would go to like beam, That's so especially crazy. to do my yeah. series on beam. But I just like I knew that I didn't want something like that to like make me quit. Like I I never ever wanted to quit gymnastics. So I knew that yeah. like, if I wanted to succeed, I had to be able to overcome it. And 
I think that's like probably like one of the the beginnings of when I started like mental imagery. I would like okay. I would try mm. to see myself doing it and to like see myself doing it like and not be scared before I would go. So mm. that's, then maybe that's where like I started my right. Yeah, imagery. maybe. It's so inspiring actually. So. It's cool that like you you know you found your groove. Yeah. Of how to get out of it too, or like just something that worked. If it happens again, yeah, you kind of go back to it. <laughs> I was so jealous of the girls that would go for anything. I'd like, how do you like not have this like pit in your stomach? Oh but my gosh. I was, but I was like, but then even though I was like terrified I want to go, when I would do the, finally like get the courage to go for it, I would always make it. So I'm like, why am I scared? Favorite event? Yeah, Barb okay. was my favorite event. I, that's so funny. I have a picture from the meet, like me sticking my Barb dismount and I was going to be like, if you can't tell, Barb's my favorite event. Oh, <laughs> so that's I'm cute. outfitting. <laughs> but I feel like besides bars, I would say like floor is probably my favorite event. I don't know, just like performing on floor is, is just so much fun. Madison underscore Perot three two four asks, "Who were your biggest role models when you were little?" E. Dot Wilcox two. <laughs> what has college gymnastics taught you that elite did not? I like this question. I, that's a really good question. Yeah, it's really deep. I mean, I kind of touched on it before, but I feel like college gymnastics has really taught me to just be comfortable in my own skin, mm -hmm. um, and just like really just bring out my personality and like whatever I do. Um, and obviously it's like college is like some of like the biggest like growing stages of your life like mm -hmm. like Man. leaving home becoming independent like learning mm -hmm. how to cook and clean and do all that so I think just just not even just the gymnastics but like college as a whole just I mean just I feel like I've grown up so much already. <laughs> kind of as a woman. <laughs> A whole woman. <laughs> a whole woman. <laughs> I actually found another really good question, but this should be quick. Super Piper 1. 